Hey guys, happy Friday. Today I wanted to share um, some of my favorite spring shoes with you guys. Um, with the warmer weather like starting, I've been wearing like way more sandals and slides. And so I wanted to share some of my favorite like basic neutral shoes that I wear all spring and summer long. Um, some of these I've had since last year and some of them are brand new, but they're all like really great basics. And so I wanted to review them for you, um, to try to help you find some good shoes for spring. So first up are these wedges, which I have had these since last spring, I want to say, and they are right at a hundred bucks. They're worth every penny, very comfortable. I have them in this uh, tan color and white. So I definitely think they're worth it but they fit true to size. If you're between sizes, I would go up the half size versus down. Um, but super comfortable. I can walk in these all day and they still look completely brand new since last Okay. So here's both the tan and the white. Um, I've had them both since last year and they are, have both been worn a bunch of times. Um, but they're in great condition and they're, we just checked they're $79. The espadrille part stays in great condition. Okay, this next pair is brand new to me this season, but they are literally one of my favorites. I've worn them, I can't even tell you how many times already. Um, I think I was most shocked at how comfortable they are. The woven part is actually like a stretchy, soft leather. So very comfortable, they slide on, and because they're stretchy, they kind of um, grab your foot, so they're not sliding off the whole time. These look great with jeans, dresses, I love them and can't say enough good things about them. Definitely one of my top favorites. Okay, and then this pair is definitely not new and you've probably seen these before, but for how pricey they are, I figured I would chat about them for a second. These are the Tory Burch Miller flip-flops. This is the color makeup. It's like just a not patent sand color. I love these. I have these Miller flip-flops over the years. I've bought them in this makeup color actually twice. I reordered it this year because I'd had mine for too long and they were looking yucky because I wear these the most. I also have the sand patent, which is a tan patent, and I have the black patent, and I have the cognac leather. Like, I literally have four pairs, um, and they are that pricey, and so I don't take that lightly at all. They're very expensive. However, I think they are well worth it if you like flip-flops and you think you'll wear flip-flops often. Um, they stay on your feet really well. The side strap, like, holds your foot really well. Um, and they run true to size. These do run a little small though. So definitely if you're between sizes on these, size up versus down. Um, the half, they come in half sizes. Um, my foot is all the way toward the end in my true size, which is why I say size up. Um, but my foot's too narrow to go any bigger. So if you have narrow feet and you order your true size, just know that your foot's going to be at the end. But these, I wanted to chat about them because I get a lot of questions if they're worth it during the summer months when I wear them a lot. I believe they're definitely worth it. Um, so if you've been thinking about taking like splurging on them for a while, I would, I'd recommend them. I think they're awesome. However, that I totally understand how pricey they are. I just wear them so much that it's totally worth it. Okay. And I figured I'd balance out the splurge with a steal. These are new this year and they're target. I actually just got them last weekend. Um, they have little crystal straps and they're just a basic slide sandal. Um, super cute. I can't speak to the quality of them because like I said, they're brand new. Um, they do run a little wide, like the two sliding straps run a little wide. So just keep that in mind, but they're like 20 bucks and so pretty. Um, I would totally recommend them if you're going on like a vacation, they are really, really pretty. Okay. And I know I've probably said this, but I think this pair is my, this year, this new to me favorite. Um, these are Steve Madden little wedges platforms. They're not really a wedge because they're pretty flat. So that's really awesome. Especially like with Rhett, I won't be able to wear wedges as often as I did like last year, <laughs> but these are great because the straps are elastic and the bottom is cork. They're super comfortable. Like the footbed of them is really comfortable. Um, and they're super stretchy. So like depending on, I have pretty narrow feet and they hug my foot just fine. Um, and so obviously they'd work if your foot was a little wider too, because they're elastic, but they are adorable. I think the white little sole on them is so cute and they look super cute with jeans too. Um, I wore them the other day with jeans and it just covers that little strap and they're so cute. Okay. And then I had to include my favorite tennis shoes because 
I've worn these. This is actually my second pair. And so for a pair of tennis shoes that is this expensive, I had to have really loved them. Um, if you've been following me since this time last year, I wore them all over Italy. So we went to Italy for two weeks, just over two weeks. And I brought a bunch of shoes. I literally wore this pair of tennis shoes every single day and I walked all of Italy in them. So they are super comfortable. They are a slip-on, which is awesome if you're a mom with a car seat. I, I've never appreciated them more. So they're white leather and they have this little perforation. I'm wearing little no-show socks, which we will link for you too. Um, but I wear mine with socks. You don't have to. They are the best. They're just a true white slip-on. They are, like I said, a little expensive, well worth it. Um, and if you're traveling specifically and you need a shoe that's going to be comfortable for a lot of walking and going to go with everything, these are cute because they like start lower on your ankles. So you can wear them with jeans. You can wear them with dresses. I wore mine with literally everything, sundresses to jeans to shorts, and they're the best. Okay, and another slide sandal, because honestly, I probably wear slide sandals most in spring and summer. These are new this year. Um, they are a little pricier, but I thought the studs were really cute and the leather is really high end. Um, they look like this. They come in multiple colors, but I have this like tan cognac color. I really thought they were pretty. The studs are definitely high quality, um, if you can tell. And this is what they look like. I have worn these. So when we knew, went to Newport, um, the weekend before last, I wore these all around Newport, walking, shopping all day. The first day I wore them, I did get, I didn't get like a full blister, but it did bother my foot like right there. Um, however, I've worn them since I think I needed to break them in because now they don't bother me. But I did wanted to give you that forewarning that I did have to break these in. But I think they're the cutest little vacation sandal. You can wear them down to the pool. You can dress, like wear them with a dress. Um... I just thought they were really cute, really neutral. Okay, I did want to include a heeled sandal because I feel like you need a really good nude heeled sandal this time of year, like whether it's to, to wear to weddings or out to dinner or whatever, just dress up a little bit. Um, this pair is my number one recommended pair. I had the older version of this, and then this year I bought this version, which is exactly the same as my older version, only my strap broke. That's how much I wore them. So the reason I love these is because you can pretty much wear them with any dress you wear to a wedding. They'll go with anything. They're a leather. Um, my last pair was a suede, so I feel like these are going to hold up a lot better. Um, but yeah, they are the perfect heel height. They are like dressy enough to be a dress up heel, but they're low enough that they won't hurt your feet that like they won't hurt my feet at all. If you're not used to wearing heels, obviously they may bother your feet, but, um, I just wanted to show them to you. They have this cute little scalloped edge and then they're just this really smooth, pretty tan leather. Um, I love these. If you are in need of a basic heel to wear to just about anything through the spring and summer months, I can't recommend these enough. They're, I think, just over $100, definitely an investment. But like I said, I wore my last pair out. I had them for three years. They'll last you, and you can wear them over and over and over. Okay, this next pair is a slide sandal that I feel like is a classic, basic, another one really good to have in your closet that you can just slip on. They, I've worn these to the pool, to the beach. These have been worn shopping. Like They're just a great basic. Um, I've had them for a year. They still look brand new and I have the white. They come in multiple colors. The rose gold is really cute. Um, they come in like the tan color that I had those studded sandals in. So depending on what color you want, they're awesome. They slide on and they stay on, um, which is great for a slide sandal. They stay on really well. Um, and I have pretty narrow feet. They run true to size. This is a six and a half, which is my true size and my foot fits perfectly. Um, I have worn these a lot. So if you take a look at them, you can tell I've worn them a ton and the white leather still looks that good. So I've seen a lot of dupes for these. However, I can't speak to them because I haven't tried them, but I know that if you do invest in this pair, which is still at under hundred dollars, but if you do invest in the real pair, the Steve Madden pair, they're going to hold up well because I've literally worn this white pair to the beach in the sand and it still looks this good. And this last pair is by far the biggest splurge. They are pretty pricey, um, but one of my favorites. So I wanted to share them with you anyways. Um, they are a little flat espadrille, um, and they are so cute. I've had these since last year. I did splurge on them when I saw them because I just thought they were adorable. 
Um, this year they made a like a dupe of them for $99. So I will link that in today's blog post too. All these are linked in today's blog post with like the details and I'll link the dupe for these in the blog post. The link will be in my profile, but these are the real pair that I got last year. Um, they're like a rose colored suede with these little laser cut details. Mine are a year old. I wore them a bunch. They look great. So if you do invest in the quality of like the original pair, they are awesome. But I wanted to include them because they are one of my favorites and I just think they're so unique and cute.